Gareth Edwards, director of Godzilla 2014, made a statement after Godzilla 2014 came out that Mothra is the Joker to Godzilla. Now, a lot of fans were puzzled by this statement because they think the title of Godzilla's Joker should belong to Ghidorah. Right? WRONG! It's actually Mothra, and we're gonna discuss why on today's episode of Kaiju Discussion. Now, I don't think Mothra is the Joker to Godzilla in an antagonist sense. That goes to Ghidorah. But she is the Joker to Godzilla when it comes to her being a foil to Godzilla. That is what the video is called after all. So let us see what a foil is so we can see if these traits apply to Mothra. Now, the definition of a foil is a person or thing that contrasts with and so emphasizes and enhances the quality of another. So let's see if any of these traits apply to her and how they contrast with Godzilla. Mothra is very benevolent by nature. She rarely likes to attack cities unless her twin priestesses are kidnapped or her egg is out in the open and gonna be eaten. Then she'll gladly smash, bash, and crash and attack everything that's in her path. But otherwise, she's pretty chill. Godzilla, on the other hand, is a different story. He'll smash and break and turn everything into a sea of fire in under five minutes, maybe even four minutes if he really pushes it, because humanity made him into the way he is. He was mutated from whatever he was before to what he is now, but he isn't always like this. He has indeed turned into a good guy in primarily the late Showa films. Mothra, on the other hand, has been very consistent with her character development. She has basically always been the good guy in all of her appearances, and frankly, it should be kind of kept that way. That just sounds rich coming from me. You know, the guy who braces Shin Godzilla for being new and experimental, but here's the difference. Godzilla as a character is designed to fit any situation that he may come across. In other words, he is the biggest tool in the entire series. He is a framing device used to fill in the gaps for ideas seen as boring at first glance, and make them interesting. Like the horrors of nuclear weapons, Cold War tensions, the effects of radiation, and the incompetency of the Japanese government. It works, for better or for worse. Mothra, on the other hand, isn't designed as a metaphor. She was designed as a monster. Just a monster. There is really no need to change her character to fit the times. There may be some tweaking, like her affection to children in the Rebirth of Mothra films, but overall, her good guy persona stays. And quite frankly, you can't make Mothra a bad guy because you'd be doing a huge disservice to the evil Mothra. Batra. Batra was made to be Mothra's evil counterpart, so having Mothra become evil in, let's say, King of the Monsters would be a huge disservice to Batra because he is already a character cemented in canon as the evil Mothra. Why else do you think that Mothra had three appearances basically back to back in the Millennium films? It's because she had to fight against the antagonistic force. She's rarely the antagonistic force when she's going up against Godzilla. So, Mothra is the good guy that makes Godzilla more evil in comparison. But I'm not done yet! Let's bring back that Joker and Batman analogy. The Joker is loud and boisterous not only personality-wise, but appearance-wise. He has a very flamboyant color scheme in contrast to Batman's dark and brooding color scheme. Whereas Batman is trying to hide, the Joker is trying to stand out. The saying applies to Mothra and Godzilla, with Mothra having a very flamboyant color scheme and Godzilla having a dark green, gray, or brown color scheme. So that's kind of it, really. A combination of character and distinct color choices makes Mothra the foil to Godzilla, there isn't really much more I could say here that I haven't said already, so I'll end it here. Oh, and because it's October? Ah, that's much better. So anyways, goodbye, don't slam your face into the water in order to swim, and remember to wash your hands.